Hello, hello everyone. How are you today? I'm Rachel Tessman. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Andover, Minnesota in the U.S. And today I am going to show you my uh, February 2024. Um, it's a show and tell. <laughs> okay, let me start over. It's my February 2024 show and tell of new products and gifted cards that I have been receiving lately. So thank you so much. I I, you know, this is not my time that I normally go live, and so it's always exciting and fun when I see that people are live with me. Um, thank you. Thank you, everyone. So it's Saturday, February 3rd at, um, 2024 at 11 a.m. Central Time as I'm coming to you live. A big hello if this is your first time joining me live. Um, I hope that you get inspired by the things that I share today. This is not a class, though. This is a show and tell. So I'm going to be featuring cards that um, have been sent to me, cards that um, my Stampers, uh, Stampers with Art Stars have been making as swaps. Did I bring those over here? Yes, I have them. Okay, and lots of fun things. I even have some cards that, I'm, that I've created that I'm going to post on my blog, hopefully sometime tomorrow. But I thought I would kind of do like a little explanation of them today. And then beyond that, we have new products that Stampin' Up! has released. So it's lots of good stuff. We even have Alexandra from Germany. Hello. Oh my gosh. Winnipeg um, and where else? The UK. Nice, you guys. Thanks for chiming in from where you're at. It's always fun to see um, my friends from other parts of the world. Very fun. Um, okay, so I have... I have that to share. I want to see what else I want to tell you. I think that's it. Oh, comment. Please comment. Join in the fun. If you can't figure out how to comment and you're watching from YouTube, you want to log in to your Google account. Or when you're on YouTube, you should be able to log in somehow there too. But um, on my laptop, I see a picture of myself when I log in. Uh, it just shows you that you're, you're there. And then you should be able to comment during the live. If you're watching on Facebook, all you have to do is sit back and enjoy and chime in whenever you want to. Um, and if you're trying to find it on Facebook, I don't know if this will help you now, but you just refresh your screen until it shows up. Um, okay, so let's start with cards that I have received. Let's go down to my desktop. And fun, fun, fun. I'm excited, you guys. It's so much fun to be here on a Saturday. Okay, so let's, I know this is a long, long time ago kind of stuff at this point. But I've received so many beautiful Christmas, holiday, New Year's type cards, and I'm going to start with them. Um, and uh, I'm going to hopefully give credit to all the people who created these cards. Let's zoom in a bit so you can see better. From Bella Vista, Arkansas. Hi, Nancy. That sounds like a beautiful city name. <laughs> all right, so this card was made with kind of an eclectic uh, array of stuff. There's some paper pumpkin stuff on here, and then this was a fun embellishment we used to have. This card is from my friend Karen Andrusik. Thank you, Karen. Um, and I'm not gonna like give you details on all the cards because sometimes I don't remember, and sometimes they're made from non-Stampin' Up! products, but just so that you can see what has been created. Um, and you know what, I'm gonna zoom in even more. Okay, so it's just to give you some inspiration, some creative inspiration. Hey, Patricia, I love your emojis. <laughs> All right, so this one's using one of my favorite stamp sets. It's in the current catalog. It has these cute little birds, and, and you can put glasses on them. And there's books. It's a super cute set. This card was made from Jean Hoffman. Thank you, Jean. Here's one of those tucked, uh, is, it, is that what I called it? <laughs> a tucked Z-fold? Or uh, I don't remember. Anyways, um, this is a type of fun fold that I shared a while back, and I got a, a Christmas card done with it. There's a little mini card on the front. Um, this was done by Teresa Glow. She's the person who comes to help me out weekly. Um, she's also a stamper in my Stampers Without Stars group. So I know her well. This card is from Sandy Lincoln. Sandy Lincoln is also one of my Stampers Without Stars. When I say that, they're um, somebody who got the starter kit through me and so they're in um, my community of stampers. So look at fun, 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 right? Do you guys remember these uh, papers and dies that coordinated and it's just so yummy. I just wanna eat the card. Thank you so much, Sandy, for that very yummy looking card. Here's a fun fold card and this one, hang on a minute. Oh yes, this is from Natalie Travis. Natalie Travis is a fellow demonstrator. Um, I believe she's out in California. 
I don't remember. But we have such a fun time when we get together. And she's so sweet and kind. And she's one of those giving people. She just gives and gives. So you can see a picture of her family and her children and their families. That's Natalie's card. We got to attend the uh, retreat together for the Million Achievers. I love her. Okay, and then this card is from Sally Ellsworth. I love the little fun um, design that she did with her papers. You can apply these ideas to other cards, not just you know Christmas or holiday cards or whatever, right? So if you're looking at these cards, just look at the fun patterning that she did on her card here, and you can apply that to any kind of designer paper. Very fun idea, thanks Sally. <laughs> It's drizzly and snowy in Montana. It, you know what? I'm glad that you guys are getting snow because <laughs> we're not. And it's kind of like scary, you know, the whole global warming thing. But my husband's selfishly loving it because he hasn't had to rake the roof or get the snow plow out. But it's been an odd winter. I think overall it's been an odd winter, right? This is one of those uh, fun cards that you open up twice. So you have this and then you open up this panel. And this is from Dot Ruda. Thank you, Dot. <laughs> Her family. I love seeing photos of families. This is one that was done with the flap of an envelope turned into a house with a little roof on top. Very clever, super clever. And this is from Carol Slavin. Thank you, Carol. She's also a demonstrator in my group. I won't remember all the people and how they're related to me, so maybe I should stop doing that. But. Oh, love this fun fold. You're gonna see a few of these because my upline Susan Canfield um, shared this fun fold uh, a month or so back and people were loving it. So this is from Eileen Tedescusi. I never know if I'm saying your name correctly, Eileen, but hopefully I pronounced the last name correctly. You may have even told me. Here is a really fun layered card. I love the um, little cluster of design here down here. Hey, Anne from Tucson. <laughs> I think that's where my um, aunt and uncle are right now, Tucson. Yes, we were just looking at photos. They had a rainbow there the other day, right? Tell me if I'm correct, Anne. <laughs> um, this card is from Regan Moore, and I always say it wrong. Regan, Regan Moore. I, and I tell her, too, time and time again, I had a coach when I was in junior high, a volleyball coach, and her, she pronounced her name Regan. And then we had President Regan. So it's Reagan. Okay, this card has a fun little peek through area here. Love it. Thank you so much, Carol. Carol Lucas did that fun design. This is using those deckled circles. And I love just a little hint of shimmer. I love using the glimmer and the uh, glitter and shimmer type papers as accents on cards because you can make them into any shape with dyes or if you just trim strips of them. Um, it's just a, a unique embellishment. Here's another way of using some glimmer paper. You had hail yesterday? Oh, wow. Um, tell me if you had a rainbow, though. Didn't you have a rainbow? Or maybe not all, Tucson, it might be big. <laughs> it might be so big that you don't see a rainbow from the same area as maybe somebody else in Tucson, right? Love the layering on this one. This is kind of like a um, collage -y kind of look, right? Everything's brought into one spot in the lower corner. White on white is stunning. This card was made from Judy Duncan. Thank you, Judy. Very pretty. Here's a, sh oh, and did you see this? So she's got this white and this silver glimmer paper as little shape accents. I love white glimmer paper. This is one of those faker shakers. Love it, where you use the cellophane bags and you put the scene in and then put the glitter on top, close this, the envelope on the back so this is where it's sealed up is on the back side. Make sure it's nice and tight and just stick it on the front of your card and you have a faker shaker. It's a shaker card, but it's very easy to make. Okay, and then we have, oh, someone's tagging somebody else. Yay! Yes, bring your friends in. <laughs> um, okay, and this card is made from Nancy and Kayla. Nancy and Kayla, thank you. They just came over for a retreat at my house. Um, and speaking of Kayla, she's helping me to get some logo merchandise on my website, you guys. So if if you saw, if you were on Facebook and you saw a few posts come up that were talking about product, I'm still playing around with it. It's not ready yet. I'm designing some product and trying to get it onto a store on my website. So if you're interested, it'll be available soon, but I don't know when. <laughs> I love this little patterning of the 
um, the stitched uh, square die cut pieces. And we've got three here, and then of course a little space there that our Merry Christmas comes out of. Super cute, Joanne. Joanne um, posts like daily in our group. She's always full of great creative ideas. In fact, Joanne, if you're watching, I have um, connected with one of your friends on Facebook and she's making my son's birthday cake. My husband is right now picking up my son's birthday cake and it is amazing. You guys wanna um, check out my website because maybe when I post tomorrow my cards, I'll have, uh, you know what, I'm going to. I'm gonna post a picture of the cake. It is incredible. Thank you, Deidre. Um, okay, so this card here is from Chrissy May and Chrissy, also from my group, um, super very creative gal too. And I love how just she used some of this designer paper with the foiling on it as accents on the sides of the card. So you focus your eye in on the really cool truck here. I love that stamp set that's in the online exclusives. It's been a popular one. Here we have a really fun fun fold from Janelle Neeland. When you open this up, watch. Really cool, right? This is another one that my um, upline Susan Campfield had shared, a, a kind of like an accordion type of opening there when you open the card. Just super fun. We like to do fun folds in our group. <laughs> we have a whole swap just about fun folds, you guys. Fun, right? <laughs> Elkhart, Indiana. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Yay. Thanks for joining in. Okay, this card is from Jean Maxwell. We got some traditional colors on there, a traditional little image of a stocking with some holly and a candy cane, or actually with a little loop coming out of the, but super cute. And I need to use my embossing folders more, you guys. I think I need to start incorporating them into some future um, online classes because I have this great idea that Teresa shared with me that I just, it's like Joseph's coat only with embossing folders. So, um, I'm enthusiastic today, you guys. I have a lot of energy. I think it's because it's Saturday. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this card from a past paper pumpkin. Love the uh, little layout here. This is from Kim Perkis. Really pretty card. Love the colors. I'm a fan of turquoise um, aquas, and greens, as you guys could probably tell from my logo, right? All right, here's a true shaker. This one was done by Nicole Jones, who's also an artist of all other kinds of media. She does um, those uh, paint pour type things and makes incredible artwork. You gotta check her out, Nicole Jones. So she's um, sent me this true type shaker. It's got the foam um, dimensional tape within. This is one of my favorite embellishments Stampin' Up! used to carry. Lots of fun glitter inside and a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Nicole. Here we have just a fun little focus, you know, kind of like um, focal point type card, I should say, where you, your eye is drawn in right here, but you have these subtle little beauty things all around. So here we have an embossing folder that's got some blending brush inked on it or sponged ink or whatever um, so that you can see the design a little bit more, but it's also got that gradient or ombre type look. Is gradient with one ink and ombre is with two or is it vice versa? I think it's that way. Gradient is the one ink? I hope so. Anyways, this card is from uh, Stampin' Storage. Thank you so much, Stampin' Storage. I'm an affiliate with them, so I get treated very nicely. It's so fun. Thank you. But I love their products, so of course I'm going to promote them. Here we have a card that took a little bit of time because there's some coloring on there using that fun little stamp set. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'll have to show you the inside of this too. Maureen Rosenbaum made this for me. So here we have the happy Christmas wishes with the fa-la-la. -la. And on the inside, there's the little rhinoceros with some birds on a sleigh. Super cute. Thank you, Maureen. Here we have a nice, uh, beautiful, simplistic, but stunning card. You have these little strips of paper coming down, a snowflake, and then your words that are accented with a little bit of glimmer. Um, on the sides. So super cute. Thank you. Or super pretty. Thank you so much, Carol Bragulio. And then we have um, a fun fold and I'm going to pull this little flap out. This is from Diane Callen and she used those papers that are no longer available. I think they were called One Horse Open Sleigh Papers. So pretty, right? We were in love with these. Barbara's saying so many fabulous ideas. I know, right? I just get so inspired when I get cards from people. And Susan, De, and I'm gonna pronounce your name wrong, uh, Avadio, Avadio, Davadio, Davadio? Did I say it right? <laughs> Davadio? Susan Davadio, 
Um, I think that's how you say it. She loves stamp and storage products too. This is fun, you guys. I get to read your comments because I'm not focusing in on teaching anything. But watch how this opens, okay? Okay, check it out. Like this and like that. Love that fold. I've done that a few times. That one's one of my favorites. Okay, here we have another simple but stunning type of card where you just take your little layers and, you know, mount them onto some um, extra little cardstock in the back so they stand out have some snowflake accents on there. This was made by Trisha Josephs. And those of you who are watching on YouTube and you've been with me before, you know who Trisha Josephs is. She's my moderator. She's not here today with us. I'm moderator free, um, which means I gotta watch the comments as they roll in in case there's a question. So I keep looking over there just in case there's a question. Um, so far I'm not seeing any, but it's fun to read, you guys. So much fun. Oh, I have to show you this too. So I love how she did this on the inside. She's been doing this on some of her cards lately and I just need to incorporate that where you take and do a blending brush and then you put your sentiment over the top. It's a great idea. Okay, here we have a cute snowman. Um, I don't recognize the product so I'm guessing they're not Stampin' Up! but still a creative, fun idea. Um, this I think is Stampin' Up! A little archway and the embossing folder back here. But super cute snowman. I don't know where he comes from. Love him. Uh, this is from Joan Maddie, and I have to show you the little accent on, oh, because it's a fun fold too. There we go. So it's got this little stopper here, so you can put your card on display. I hope I didn't pass over any cards that are fun folds, and I didn't notice that they were, you guys. Sorry if that's the case. Oh, name is like the video, but doe in place of the doe video. Doe video. Oh, thanks, Susan. <laughs> I love knowing how to say people's names because I used to be an elementary teacher and I just think it's important to be able to pronounce people's names correctly, right? So at the beginning of the year, I would make it a point to memorize those kids' names and how they pronounced them, you know, and I was good the rest of the year, but sometimes you have some that are challenging names. Um, then this card here, we have designer paper as like, um, a, it almost looks like the whole card was made with designer paper, but it's not. It's mounted onto some cardstock so that it appears to be like that's the card. But this is from Melissa Faust. Some of you may know her. She's a fellow demonstrator, um, younger demonstrator. It's fun to see younger demonstrators come in. And um, I think I met her officially on the last trip in Norway. I may have met her before, but anyways, we had a good time talking. She's such a sweetheart, such a nice, lovely gal. Okay, this card is from, oh yeah, the notes on the back, Becky Ewing. So she's got a fun fold, like a cupboard door kind of fold. She embossed with like gl a glittery embossing uh, powder. And then here she has her beautiful um, nativity scene on the inside. Very pretty card. This card, is simple, cute, and just, just, I don't know, I love it. It's so adorable. Um, do you remember the little bear die cuts that we had? I don't know if they're still available. I believe this is Rosie Prouty. Yes, Rosie Prouty. And she did just a simple little layer here, and then she's added some cute little gold bears. So cute, right? That was her Christmas card. Here's another one that's on the quicker, simpler side. Like, these, is, these are great ideas, you guys. If you have to crank out a bunch of Christmas cards or um, even like, again, applying other products to these ideas, wedding card or, um, you know, thank yous from something or whatever. If you have to mass produce, look at some of these more simple designs and um, go with them because you don't have to get so detailed, right? A card can be beautiful just from the simplicity of little layers like this. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nancy. She said, um, talk, taking time to share and nice to share without teaching. I'm more relaxed. You know, sometimes I feel like I have to fit it all in, in that hour's time. And I always tell, tell myself I want to share within 30 minutes and I never do it. It's always usually in an hour, but I like to teach. So that means I'm chatty. This is, you know, I just go with the flow on this. You're right. Maybe I'm more relaxed because I'm just going with the flow and I'm not worried about making sure you have everything. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are liking these cards. Just a cute couple little sequins here for some sparkle. This card was made from Jeanette Harrelson. And then we have a card that came all the way from Germany from my friend Sylvia Werner. I love her. She's my friend. So she sent us this card. So we've got a whole layer of gold back here, but you um, 
have this die cut in the middle where it just, you know, so you don't have to put all those little gold dots on. The die does it. The die makes the card, doesn't it? Here we have one with another unique die. This die here is also one that you lay over paper. Um, so this layer, I don't know if you can tell here, I don't want to pull it apart, but this white piece is over some green designer paper. So it has a torn look to it. So this isn't torn paper and this isn't a separate piece. They're all one die. Very fun. And I love the little candy cane thing. Accenting of red, um, complimentary colors. Oh, and it goes this way. Sorry about that. This card is from Nancy Reynolds. Thank you, Nancy. Here we have that fun fold again that I was telling you, showing you earlier. And it is, it kind of like comes out like this, right? So you can stand it up. This card is from Shauna Prescott. And we've got this fun little village scene with the houses. Paper pumpkin, gotta love it. Don't miss those paper pumpkin kits, you guys. If you're getting a subscription to paper pumpkin, and you're not getting inspired, you have to go on the Paper Pumpkin fan club or even just Google it if you're not on Facebook. But um, there's so many different alternate ideas out there. And so if you get a kit that you don't necessarily feel thrilled about, Google the name of the kit. But you know, you have to wait a couple weeks because people have to design with it. But wait a couple weeks, Google it or go on the Paper Pumpkin fan club, and then you're going to see all kinds of ideas that inspire you. Um, another great simple layout quick to make, right? But stunning. So I love it. Just a little fun bow in the corner here, some embellishments, just designer paper strips and a sentiment. This was given to me by Zaina Ames. Thank you, Zaina. This card is from Lori Nelson. Lori Nelson. I love you. I miss you. She's been with me for a long time. So has Trisha Joseph. Those two demonstrators have probably been with me in my group for maybe since the beginning. I've been a demonstrator for 24 years this month, you guys. 24 years. I love it. <laughs> so this is Lori Nelson's card. I love how she always adds a little bit of um, uh, earthiness to her cards, you know? It's it's just like she does the collage or the um, eclectic-y kind of stuff, you know? All right, this card is from Tammy Ruggiero. And um, she's a demonstrator in my group from Florida. She drives a truck now, and I love that. I love that. I, she was so excited when she transferred her career over into that, and it was it's fun to be, to be reading her posts. But um, yeah, and she also designs cards that are beautiful. Thank you so much, Tammy. I love it. Here is another card. We're almost through the holiday-ish ones, you guys. Uh, well, almost through. I'm gonna bring this stack over here there okay so the next card another nativity kind of look here um so uh on the inside oh and then you have even more this is from kathy godwin thank you kathy i don't know how she did this star i wonder if it's like one of those um i bet it's a die cut and then she took one of those glitter glue type things and filled it in because it doesn't feel like it's die cut and it doesn't feel like it's a glimmer paper i'll have to ask her Here's some old product. This is a ribbon from a long time ago. Don't know if you guys remember that. And I believe, was this our Rocket Red color? No, no, this is not Rocket Red. Rocket Red is from way, way back. This is the red, Riding Hood Red color. Do you guys remember that? Riding Hood Red. Thanks, Christina. She was giving me congrats for 24 years. Crazy, right? This is from Jean Hartig. Thank you, Jean. And then we have one of these fun types of cards where you have your words die cut from the scene and then raised up onto dimensionals. This is a postcard. So we have a scene of um, Elaine Mitzel and her family. And then of course she sends her newsletter every year. So that's got, got to keep that together here. Um, thank you, Elaine. Love it. And here we have a card that opens up like this. Isn't that fun? So they take the diagonal piece here and you, I think you have to, yeah, you have to flip it over and then you add another piece of designer paper that fits into that space. So love it, love it, love it. Very cute. Using glimmer paper as an embellishment. Love that leaf punch. That's from the bow punch, right? And this card was from Tyra Marshall. Thank you so much, Tyra. Here we have a nice simple card. Easy to recreate a bunch of these. This is gifted to me by Mackenzie Grimmy. She's also a demonstrator in my group. And there we have um, the nativity scene. 
So Mackenzie Grimmy, beautiful card, beautiful family. Thank you, love it. Here we have a little bit more detail put onto the card. We have a poinsettia, poinsettia, poinsettia flower. Um, this is one of those types though that you can tell was uh, embossed and die cut at the same time to get that texture. I don't know if this one is Stampin' Up! product. I don't remember the kind we had before. Maybe some of you guys know. Um, but I do recognize this paper and I think this was a die that we had. And this is from Monica Cable. Thank you, Monica. Here we have one of those um, faux step type cards. And this card is from Sherry Rosnick. Beautiful, love it. It's always fun when a card can stand up and be on display on a mantle or a table. Here we have that same type of die, remember from Sylvia's card from Germany. I believe it's from that same die set where you die cut it and whatever's behind, you can see. And uh, this card is from um, Amy Rudd. Amy Rudd. Thank you, Amy. Here we have one of those bridge fold cards using cellophane or window sheets so that the little light bulbs in there look like they're floating. Really cool. This card is from Beth Perry. Here we have another beautiful card um, that is gold and vanilla. Just stunning, right? And this card is from Teresa Buckmaster. I love even the subtle little embossing with the music notes there. Thanks, Deborah, for sharing. She's talking about how you can get your uh, the starter kit and get in on the demonstrator side of things. Here we have um, a very um, uh, shiny, <laughs> That's the word. Um, Metallic-y, foily, you know, just eye-catching, right? So we have um, like a wreath with some berries in it, a few little rhinestones in there, gorgeous satiny ribbon, stunning background. This card is from Lisa Fisher. Thank you, Lisa. And then we have this card with a little accent of silver on the top of the tree, and then the embossed words in silver embossing folder. Uh, embossing powder, embossing powder. The zigzag of, of red behind there, red and green, remember those are complementary colors. When you have red and green together, or yellow and purple together, or orange and blue together, they make, make each other vibrate more, so you have just a more intense look of your card. Uh, Colleen Keller gave that card to me. And here we have a card that um, has a sentiment layer here, designer paper. Again, it does it, right, you guys? love designer paper. It just makes the card. This is from Cass Turner. Thank you, Cass. And then we have um, a card that's a fun fold. This one is from Coco Villard. And watch what happens when you open this up. It's not really a fun fold. It's, well, yeah, it is. Yeah, because the inside is. So watch. A little scene with some little polar bears. Love it. <laughs> so cute. My piles are getting large over here. Okay, this is one of those uh, slimline cards. They are, you're right, Nancy goes, they may be simple, but they make a huge impact. It's just, sometimes it's just a designer paper or the words or the font or, you know what I mean? It's, you don't have to put a lot into ma card making. A, like, if you're a new card maker and you're watching this, you can make stunning cards just from easy, simple little designs and stuff. Look what Janet did. She made me a little ornament from some... Um, silver type paper mounted onto um, something smoother and then she filled in spot oh I bet I know what it was she first did the design with um, like this gold foil probably and then this is a layer that goes on top of it so you can see just parts of the, uh, of the green foil did I say gold of the green foil within so I have an ornament for my tree that I can now finally put with our ornaments because I've showed this to you but super pretty card. This is gorgeous. Lots of stamping involved in this one, but I could see this being done with, say, like a designer paper, right? Where you have a designer paper piece back here, your ribbon going across, some embellishments on the words. But she took stamps and she made her own designer paper. This is from Tammy McCarty. So another slimline card here. Gorgeous colors. Love it. Here's one. Uh, actually, two. So Pat Frank gave me two cards. I'm going to pull this one out here. So she gave me one with um, paper pumpkin, using paper, past paper pumpkin. Brandy, thanks for joining. And oh, flying back to Canada for the birth of grandbaby number seven. 
Woohoo! Congrats to you. And then this is the other part of uh, Pat Frank's gifted cards to me at the holidays. She gave me a beautiful fun fold card. Stunning, right? I got spoiled by her. I got two cards. Thank you, Pat. And here's that fun fold again. Remember, we've I said it's going to come back a few times. So here that is. It looks like this. And from the front, it looks like this. And that is from Cindy Howard. Gorgeous. And here we have a New Year's card. And this is from Suzanne Bensley. Very fun. Love it. Happy New Year. You can use these for, of course, uh, 4th of July, too. These, these um, firework cards or uh, designs. You could use them for Mardi Gras. There's lots of times where we shoot off fireworks, right? Okay, we have some cards that are not Christmas. Um, so I'm trying to quickly go through these, you guys. This might be a longer than hour video. Um, Sweet as Honey, cute little bee card given to me by Amy Rudd. Cute, right? And then we have a thanks card by Sheila Chu. Gorgeous papers. This is past paper pumpkin stuff. Here we have one made with one of my favorite celebration stamp sets, and I haven't even used it yet. But I love this, and I'm so glad I got one. It's the watermelon stamp set. This card was made by Janet Carlson. Very pretty, Janet. And here we have, oops, we, here we have a peach card gifted to me by Pat Stewart. And this one's a party type card with balloons and streamers. Simple but pretty. Just add embellishments, you guys, and you have like gorgeous cards. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Helen. First time catching me live. Um, oops, sorry about that. Shannon West. <laughs> Shannon West. Um, oh, that's that's who this card is from. Shannon West is from the home office of Stampin' Up. So she sent me a little congratulations card. And this is how she uh, addresses her cards, you guys. This is so fun. She writes the name nice and large and then the address underneath. All right. Then we have um, this gorgeous card using some past designer paper and stamps that matched it. This is from um, Pat Anderson, and here is that fun design again. This is from Michelle Carlson. So here you take, she took that design and used non-Christmas papers. You remember that earlier? And I'm not sure if she even saw that other card before, but love it. Love how you can apply ideas and do something completely different. Here's that beautiful uh, die again. This card is from Amanda Martin. <laughs> Simple, sweet, and stunning. Can you find who made the Time Together card? And did I just tell you that? No. Time Together. Time Together. Oh, did I have a Time Together card? I thought I gave names for everybody. I'm sorry if I shared a card and I did not share the name of somebody. Eek. Uh, describe the card. This is a thank you card. This was gifted to me by Luann, uh, Luann Peterson. And then we have this fun fold card using some celebration papers that are really fun. This was gifted to me by Jenny Reader. Gotta love it. Um, oh, another first live person. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> the Time Together card. Tell me, um, so that's Anne who posted that. Anne, can you tell me a little bit more about the card so I can try to find it? because I don't remember sharing one like that. Cindy Howard gave me this card. It's a big hugs type card and happy Valentine's Day. This is one of our dies that we have. I love just the stitch marks in it. Like you can, it can come apart. Oops, got a hair caught in there. It can come, like all these pieces can come apart, but she just laid it on here together like a puzzle, but with the stitch marks going through it. So did I share Anne? She said, thank you. So I must have given her the name of whoever it was. Okay. This card is from Cheryl Lee. Cheryl Lee gave me a cute little bee card and she did this bow with probably one of those bow makers because it's super tiny and super cute. So that is from Cheryl. And we have this fun card given to me by Shannon West. Um, remember she's the one with uh, the way she writes her, the name across the card. I love that. I love, love, love. Um, hey Allie, <laughs> all the way from England, yay. So this is from Shannon West. She gave me a Christmas card and she took and um, drew uh, with blend, blends markers across here to get that um, gradient look. 
And then uh, there's a picture of her and her hubby. Yay. Thank you, Shannon. And here we're using some past paper pumpkin. Um, this is a card, Happy New Year card, from Bonnie, and I want to say it was Bonnie Allen. Yep, Bonnie Allen gave me this. Very pretty. I love the colors here. I love that. So gorgeous. And I'm not sure if she took and cut that from a, another card or if she took and did blends to get that look, but it's just gorgeous. All right, next we have this card, and this one's using that Hello Irresistible paper and um, some dies from the online exclusives also. This card is from Donna Anderson. Pretty. I love the way she did the little uh, ribbons there going back and forth. We ha I have to get some water. And I have nobody here to give me water. <laughs> Everyone's gone, you guys. My oldest son is at work. My youngest is at class. Um, he takes an extra class on Saturdays. And then my husband went to go pick up the cake. And my mom and dad, who are here in town, they took off so that they weren't making noise during the live. So if my mouth starts to get dry, forgive me. Um, gorgeous little stippled rose images here. We've got some um, very pretty shimmer paper back there. Oh, this is from Shannon. Another card from Shannon West. Shannon's been spoiling me, you guys. See, you can tell it's from her. Gorgeous, love it. And then here's another card from Shannon. <laughs> this is another one she sent me. She's so sweet to me. <laughs> Love it. Someone just ordered this stamp set as a loyalty uh, rewards earner. So if you purchase so much from me um, over time, you can collect these loyalty points and redeem them for a free stamp set. So they chose this the stamp set that has this, and I hadn't even seen this set before. Like, you, there's so many great products that Stampin' Up! has. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, where'd that set come from? So cool. So... Hey, hey, Jean. Okay, this card is from Cindy Howard using um, the Forever Love dies. And then we have the um, Perennial Lavender designer paper. This is newer stuff and the purple um, gems. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Here we have a card from Kathy Godwin. Um, I don't remember the name of the set, but it was one of my favorites because it coordinated with that designer paper for a while. Mm, I'm looking over at my stamp sets, you guys. I can't remember the name, but it had really pretty, yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty set. Um, this card is from Kathy Godwin. She's been giving me a lot of cards. It holds a little bookmark in here. Isn't that fun? And there's the inside. And then I got some things when I went to um, uh, an event was it last weekend? No, it was two weekends ago now. It's called the Stamp Share for Leader of Leaders event. And demonstrators who have teams um, uh, get to go to these fun events and learn from each other. And we talk about business stuff, but we also share fun and we do swaps. I didn't swap for this, but I got to have some extra little gifted cards to me um, because people were sweet and kind. So artistically inked. Thank you, Katie. Yes. And Beverly. Thank you so much, you guys, for chiming in on that. Um, so this card was given me, given to me by, uh, Dawn Michaels and she's a very sharing and caring type of person. She also gifted me this cute little box with candy and just wanted to, she just said, I just want to let you know how much I, I appreciate you. And that's, I'm guessing it's cause I share online. I don't know, but it was really sweet cause we didn't really have a long time to talk. I was talking to someone else. She jotted in and she said, I just want to give you this and tell you how much I appreciate you. And I, I needed to talk with her longer, but. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. This card was gifted to me by Candace Johnson, a real talented demonstrator in my group. She does these fun little get-togethers at coffee shops. If you're in the Twin City area here in Minnesota, let me know if you'd like to connect with her and get together at a coffee shop and do coffee and cards. So gorgeous card, right? It's so pretty. I love it. Um, so that one is from Candace. She also goes by CJ. And this stunning card, um, yes, Michelle Carlson. So this is Michelle Carlson's card and Michelle does events as well. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in attending events and you're in the Twin City area, I don't do in-person events, but I have team members that do and I can hook you up. Um, really pretty card, right? Gorgeous. And then we have 
Um, this card by Sandy McManus. She's a sweetheart. She's so supportive of me. She's always there to lend a sweet comment in my videos and my posts. Love you, Sandy. Mwah. <laughs> and then, um, of course, everybody wears a name tag. So this was designed by um, Terry Gaines, who um, was the one who kind of started the whole get together of these events. And we've been doing them for years. And then, of course, she has uh, a, a small team that helps her put them on. And then a bunch of us help run them. I didn't do anything to help with this last one. I feel really bad. But um, yeah, gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Then we had candy on the tables. Okay, so and isn't that cute? It's just a fun way to put together, you know, a little treat for an event. The next set of cards I have are, um, do we have time for these? You know what? I'm going to share my swaps from my team. I think I'm going to share them in a post coming up soon. So you'll see photographs of them. But there's a ton of cards, like more cards, you guys. Let's move on to some other stuff because we're already going to go way over time today. So these next cards that I want to share with you are, I'm sharing them with you because I'm going to post them tomorrow, and I just want to go through them quickly to give you any tips. All of these cards were made with the um, Memories and More, and let me take a peek at the actual name of the Memories and More. Um, it's called Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More, and um, the Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More cards and the Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More cards and envelopes. So there's a card and envelope pack, and then there's these cards that are like designs that you can put on them. What, what I did is I added layers of basic white cardstock that were just slightly larger than these three by four cards. So three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, and, on, and on some, I turned the card inside out and the colors on the inside. So let's take a peek at those. Real simple and easy to make, okay? So we have that one. We have this one, which is like a Z-fold card. And here I use two white layers, right? We have this one, some of the stickers. So you get stickers in those card packs too. So there's the stickers. And then I added some more on this side. And on some of the cards, I added a larger layer. This larger layer measures um, three and a half by five and a half. So that's one where I turned it inside out. Here we have um, one of those easel type folds. So all of these cards that I'm sharing with you, we use these as inspiration for making cards at my Silver Elite Retreat. And um, so I'll be sharing with you not only my 20 cards in my blog post tomorrow, but variations of these cards that some of the other participants of the event made for us. So you can see lots of inspiration with this Memories and More card pack. Trying to think if there's any other tips I want to give you on these cards. I mean, they can be blank on the inside, but you can also just put like a little sticker in there. Super simple, super easy. If you are a beginning crafter, um, this is one way to go. These are kind of like kits, only you, you know, they're maybe even simpler because you just take the card and envelope pack and you stick one of the cards onto the cards and envelope type pack, right? So they're pretty easy. You don't have to have all these extra white layers in here. Um, they come with stickers. Everything's ready to go. Okay. Easy peasy. I just added dimensionals. Like these are stickers that come in it. This is a layer. I just stuck it on the card with dimensionals. Super easy, you guys. And pretty. And you can say, I made it. <laughs> here's another Z fold. And here's another simple one. I think this one, oh, yep. Love this life. Really fun. You can also use these cards for scrapbooking, um, oh, love that sticker, right? Um, so if you are a scrapbooker, memory keeper, you can take and use these cards in like pocket pages or even just on a plain um, 12 by 12 uh, page because some of the um, sentiments and stuff like that are things that you could put into um, a page as a page title. I mean, Hello Beautiful it could be a page where somebody's dressed up for prom or whatever, right? Happy and smile. Love the little paintbrush with the flowers coming out. And here's that paintbrush again, but it's on a card. It's printed that way. I don't think that, oh, on this one here, um, what I did to get the uh, pieces on here is I took, Tim, will you do me a favor, hon? Could you get me my water? My, hu my husband's home now. 
somebody's home, so I'm saved. I will no longer be parched. Um, okay, so what I did is I took and layered this onto this white layer here. I stuck the flowers on the ends here, and then um, I put them down on dimensionals and tucked these guys underneath. But I made sure, thank you, I made sure that my dimensionals were in a ways so that my little leaf pieces could be tucked underneath the flower areas. Does that make sense? So. <laughs> All right. Quick and easy to make as a gift. Yes, you're right, Nancy. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. Um, I enjoy I enjoy teaching still. I like all of these cards. I just want to show you little tips and ideas from. This is just one of those stickers that comes in the kit. And I just popped it up on dimensionals and put one of the other stickers here. So it's, it's easy to turn that stripe. It was all just stripes. And I turned it into an instant, <clears throat> more appealing type of card that you'd put on the front um, to, to embellish a card, right? This one has um, little uh, copper foil stickers in it, too. I better take a drink, you guys. <laughs> hmm. Oh, so much better. <clears throat> okay, this has copper foil stickers in it. So I took a strip of it, and then this other one put it on top, and then I added one that coordinated with it on the inside. Um, here's another one where this, this just had flowers on it and little stripes, and I added two stickers. And there's a flower on the inside. This one's a little more detailed. Okay, so what I did with this one is I wanted this card, which originally was bigger, um, I wanted this card to have like um, the word you are in front of it, right? Okay, you're gonna love the trans uh, take on this card. When I post the cards tomorrow, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, look at these. But, um, but what I did, because I wasn't thinking as creatively, I took the UR and I put it on the inside here, and then I put little asterisks in a way next to each of these so that you see them from the outside and you can see them when the card is open. And here's the rest of that four by six card. I just carried the color over here. This is where you can sign it is on that flap and this is stuck down. So, okay, next card. <clears throat> oh, I have no more. I'm done, that was 20. So these are the leftover pieces. This is all I had left, you guys. Now, the cards and envelopes have beautiful designs on them, on the envelopes. So you could use that as actual like designer paper if you wanted to, right? It's colored all the way through. Or you can use it as, you know, my intention now is to take these cards, tuck them in, and mail them off. These cards and envelopes, so not the ones with the designs, the layered pieces here, but the bases, and the envelopes are free, you guys. You can get them free now. They're an additional celebration pick. That's what I'm moving on to next. I'm gonna show you other celebration picks that were just added. The designer paper with the kiddos in it. That was just added. Okay, so I'm gonna take you over to my computer screen really quick. Hope that's okay. I'm gonna um, bring you on a little field trip over here. Okay, this PDF can be printed off um, when I do blog posts, I always have at the bottom of every blog post information on all the news that's going on with Stampin' Up. So you can scroll all the way down past my signature and you can click on the information about celebration um, and it will lead you to printing off this PDF that you see on the screen here. This shows you the additional things that Stampin' Up! is now offering for free with either a $50 order or with a $100 order. If you're outside the U.S., the monetary amounts are a little bit different based on your currency but I think the selections are the same. Um, so you can see over here the Sweet Thoughts, Memories, and More Cards and Envelopes. Here's the Just Kidding designer paper that, I'm, that I've got on my desktop. Delightfully Eclectic, Botanical Leaves, Beside Me. These are all things that Stampin' Up! has had for sale, but also you can now get them for free. Love This Memory Notebook Kit, the Robot Buddies Card Kit, a new uh, pack of markers, like if you want to get some extra markers, there's some great colors for free. So fun. And then this really cute punch with the dragonflies, because dragonflies are so awesome. Okay, let's go back to the desktop. These are the page uh, papers in the Just Kidding. Lots of cute little kiddos. And there's the back sides. Um, oops, too close, am I? I'm too close, you guys. You can't see them very well. There we go. And I have to push a button up here. Use my hand. There, I fixed it. Okay, 
<laughs> it's different items in Canada? Morgan, are you serious? I thought they were the same. Different free items in Canada. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I'm showing you things in the U.S. because that's all I got. That's all the information I got for you. I should go look at all the other um, um, countries to see what they're offering. This is another pack of designer paper. Now, that last one is 12 sheets, six double-sided designs, two of each. This one is 48 sheets, still free with a $50 order. Crazy, but true. This one is called Delightful, Delightfully Eclectic. Here's the 12 different designs. They're double-sided. You get four of each, okay? Then we have this embossing folder packet. They're called Stripes and Splatters. Okay, let me hold them up a little bit closer. I wanna show you a card that I did with the Splatters one. Everybody needs this, this pack. I don't know why like, you wouldn't get it. Look at that, little splashes of water on this sea, sea uh, well, this, this uh, beach themed, that's what we can call it, a beach themed sympathy card. Gorgeous, love it. Botanical layers, stamp set, um, gotta love leaves, right? This punch, these are all freebies now, you guys. This does the little dragonflies. And then here we have the um, Love This Memory um, notebook kit. It makes a fun little notebook, lots of fun crafting to do. Look at the stamp set, you guys. The stamp set is really cool in and of itself. I mean, that, this is like, and this is free at a $50 order. And you get the Parakeet Party, my favorite current green, which is leaving us soon, but you get my favorite color green in this kit. <laughs> Who doesn't want celebration freebies? Um, these are the other celebration freebies that I have collected so far. Uh, we have um, a roll of ribbon in the pool party, free at a $50 order. We have a softly sophisticated um, an embossing folder and a stamp set, free at a hundred dollar level. We have heartfelt hellos. That's it's always good to have more sentiments. Watercolor, water, watercolor melon. Say that ten times fast, you guys. That was tricky. Uh, let me stack this over here. And then we have these designer papers. I've been loving up the um, this one. It's more. Um, it's got golds and it's got red and pink. Um, it is called, let's see if I can find it. There it is. Most adorned. Remember the star column cards? That's this paper. Okay, gorgeous. And I don't have a lot of this one left. That's all I had left from that one. But that's the um, most adorned paper. Then this is the softly stippled paper. This one would also make some beautiful, <clears throat> um, excuse me some beautiful star column cards. I'm loving those star column cards. <laughs> Dana said it's like spring here in Texas. Wow, it's like spring here in Minnesota and we're further north. It's been crazy, hasn't it? Here's the back side. This is one of my favorites, like a linen, but it's in that pool party color. Really pretty papers, all free with $50 order, you guys. The papers are. This one, is called Flight and Airy, and it has all these beautiful watercolor, flowery designs, and birds. And here's the back side. You even get little birds that you can fussy cut out. And then we have the tool one, because you gotta have a little fun masculine options here, right? Tools can be also feminine, yes I know, absolutely. But I love it when there's something that's more universal as far as that goes. Because sometimes we have too, too many things that are girly. <laughs> okay, next, I'm going to show you a new kit. So, I just shared with you some new freebies that you can get with $50 or $100 orders. Um, that's going on through the end of February. That is part of a promotion that we call Celebration. This is also part of a promotion that we call Celebration. This glass mat, it's called the Glass Mat Studio. It comes with, and my chamois is not wet right now, so it's nice and stiff. 
But if I got this wet, it helps to clean off the glass mat. It comes with this little silicone tray. Um, there's so many wonderful videos out there telling about the uh, wonderfulness of this glass mat. So I encourage you to consider it, uh, consider getting it. You can become a discount shopper. It comes free in the starter kit. The starter kit now through the end of February is $99 plus tax. You choose up to $125 worth of product and you get the glass mat studio. I mean, it's a no brainer in my mind, but oh well. <laughs> you don't have to sell, you don't have to do videos. You can just be a discount shopper. Um, and again, the monetary amounts are different depending on what country you're from, but the, the starter kit is the same. Okay, you see this stamp set here? It's in German, accidentally. I got a German stamp set. Stampin' Up! is sending me the one written with English words. But let's just take a peek at the rest of the kit. This is what you get to make with this kit. This is a kit that's now available for purchase. It's part of the kits line, the kits collection line. And um, so it makes birthday cards, obviously. We have sparkler types of candles. We have um, picks in cupcakes with stars on it. We have balloons. Um, oh, here, this is the little tassel that comes off the balloon. I thought it was the part that came on, never mind. I was sharing these yesterday with um, my teammates, and I thought this part came, never mind, it doesn't go over there. Um, this card is hard to see on the photograph, but I'm going to show you the parts and pieces of the kit. And then, of course, you always get directions. So let's take a peek at the kit, which comes with a clear block, it comes with a stamp set, and it comes with an early espresso ink pad. It also comes with your card bases. So you've got this card base, which is a craft colored card base, and you've got this one, white on the inside. And there's the candles. You can see them much better in person, right? Um, it comes with twine, and it comes with those little picks. Remember, the picks are for inserting into your tag. So you make three cards, three cards, three tags, three tags. You can make 12 different things from this kit. Here are the parts and pieces. We have little layers. We have um, die cut sections that go on to um, accent images. Here's our tags. Here's some of our balloons. Foil, gold foil, you guys. Here's some more little um, sentiment labels and balloons and tops of the cupcakes, bottoms of the cupcakes, the stars, the little gold stripes, some um, layers for the cards again. This piece is discarded, but I'm sure you creative people are gonna figure out something to do with this, right? Hey, Julia, glad that you joined. Then we also have envelopes, gold foil um, envelopes, and um, dimensionals. And, oh, I have another piece too, besides this extra adhesive. So you have glue dots and dimensionals. So you have all the adhesives that you need, all the ink, the all that stuff, right? You even have your clear block for mounting your stamps. Love kits collection kits. You have everything you need except your scissors. You may need a scissors to cut your twine, right? Okay. And then here, these are little stickers. So all of these little pieces peel off. They're the tops of the candles or the bottoms of the balloons. Okay, that is something new. We also have another new kit, and I didn't get that one, but it's Happy House Plants, and it looks really cute. I just um, didn't, I can't buy it all. So check out the new kits collection. And now we're gonna move over to, oh, I can't carry it all with one hand. Now we're gonna move over to products that are going to be new March 5th. So the only people that can purchase these right now are demonstrators, or anybody who gets the starter kit right now can purchase them. But this is called pre-order for demonstrators. And again, these are products that will be available to everybody come March 5th. Um, so you might want to take some notes on what your favorites are and you can um, add them to an order next month or this month if you get the starter kit. <laughs> All right, this paper, oops, shove that off to the side a little bit more. This paper is called Flowering Zinnias and it's actually part of a, a suite. It's like there's this whole collection of stuff that you can get with one order number or you can buy the parts and pieces like I did um, because I can't, again, buy it all. I, I, I'm not rich. Um, uh, so here we go. We have this beautiful zinnia paper and the back side of it. We have a sheet that can be cut in half and then cut into thirds and be instant card fronts. Here's the back side of that. Oh, I love that. 
<laughs> That's so pretty. It's a pretty green. And then we have tiny little zinnias. And the back side of that is petal pink with little polka dots. Oh, you have all of the same things for the online exclusives, Karen? Okay. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I, I think those are all the same, but I was surprised that the Celebration extra freebies were different. I now have to go to all the stores and check them out. I want to see what everybody else has. Here we have um, like kind of an outline zinnia look. And then the back side of that. Here we have beautiful stems of green. Now, you, the idea is to cut these down and put the zinnia flowers, like either from the designer paper or from the stamps, because there's stamps that you can cut um, out. You can die cut them out. Anyways, you could put them over the top of this. But Susan, when we did our live yesterday, her and I team up for these lives on the box openings, and she said, it reminds me of Jack and the Beanstalk. And I said, oh my gosh, you're right. And something I forgot to tell her was we have this coffee or latte type of sweet too. And I thought it'd be fun to put little coffee beans at the bottom and make them be the beans for the beanstalk. Oh, here's the back side of that one. <laughs> so you can mix and match, you can get creative. You don't have to just do sweet stuff with its own stuff, right? Ooh, I love that. It's a purple design on the back side. I think that's um, Highland Heather and some Blackberry Bliss in there. Gorgeous. Okay, next we have another set of papers. These set of papers are the ones from the A Little Latte collection or suite. And obviously we have aerial views with beautiful little um, designs in the foam on the top of the coffee. Here's the back side. Look like little coffee rings on your table. Then we have coffee beans and the um, little plaid stripes going on there. Very pretty. I love that. I want a shirt with that design on it. That's gorgeous. And then we have um, the side views of the coffees, coffee cups, cute coffee cups. That one's interesting. Um, oh, this one looks like the Michelin tire guy. <laughs> and then backside has little tiny coffee cups with um, beans and spoons. This is one of my favorite sweets, and I don't even drink coffee, you guys. I just love the look of all of it. It just, it's... It's inviting, isn't it? It's so inviting to look at. <laughs> All right, and then we have splatters of coffee um, on the table. We have a table that needs to be cleaned up. And then we have this side, which are stripes. I'm reading your comments, you guys. Um. <laughs> Aw, it's fun to read what you guys are saying. I wish I could repeat all of them back. Um, then we have um, this one, which is really fun. It looks... Um, swirly whirly right um so you've got uh it's it's almost like the heartfelt what's that paper that we just showed at the beginning this one here let's pull this back over like this design is it the same design you guys only done with different colors it's kind of like uh it's kind of like the same design right this is from the um free designer paper so you can get the coffee stuff and then you can combine them, make them match. Here's the back side of that. And there's a faint swirly design in the background there. I like to go to a coffee shop just to hold a coffee because they're so pretty nowadays, aren't they? They're just like little pieces of art. It's like dessert. And then there's the back side of that one. And someone was saying this looks like the fancy fudge that you can get, you know, like a two-tone fudge. Okay. I'm gonna bring you over to my computer before I show you the rest. So hang on just a second here. Let's go to some images. So again, if you go to my website, my website always at the bottom of every post will give you information on the latest promotions going on. So um, stampyourart.com, by the way. So let's click on this next tab. This is one of the graphics that you'll see floating around there on social media showing you little peaks of upcoming, um, let me get this out of the way, upcoming online exclusives products. So you can see that there's um, ribbon in here, there's the stamp set and um, dies. So I showed you the paper. I didn't show you the stamp set, the dies, and all of that other fun stuff, but it is a whole suite of products. And again, I couldn't get it all. This is the Zinnia collection. It comes with little sequins, um, stamps, dies. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty stuff. 
And then we have this one back here, which is a bundle that has a wagon, so stamps and dies to make a wagon. Let me show you this next one. So this next image shows you most of the uh, uh, latte one. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, but that has um, some little fun accent pieces, little embellishments that have swirls in them. And here you can see a couple of um, the die shapes in the stamp set. Let's click on this next image. This is a banner type of graphic, it shows you even more. So take a peek at all the little things that are out there and you're gonna be able to get a touch of everything without me having to show it all to you because I couldn't buy it all. So I only got a little bit of stuff and I'll show you the rest in just a minute. Um, but here are more of the stamps and the um, dies and the zinnias and that wagon bundle. And then we come to this. This is a downloadable PDF. You can all access that through my website, uh, blog post at the bottom. It shows you um, here we have those flowers on top of that beautiful designer paper. There you can see the colors. You can see the parts and pieces of that. And down here, you can even see another bundle that I didn't get that I wanted to, but again, I can't buy it all. Encircled in nature, it's so pretty. Now, if we go over to this tab, there's links to two videos also that Stampin' Up! is allowing us to share. This is the Flowering Zinnias Sweet Collection, and this is the A Little Latte Sweet Collection. So check those out, and you'll be able to see lots more. Back to the desktop. All right, here we go. More stuff. So I'm gonna bring this pile over here and that's the last of it. After I'm done sharing this pile, I will let you guys all go. We're only a little over an hour, right? Okay, so these are the two other embellishments that I said that I had from um, the sweets that I didn't get the whole suite, but I got at least a couple pieces. I got the designer paper and I got the beautiful sequins. So here we have some pretty sequins the yellow, orange, pink, and green colors in there. And then we have some pink, brown, and vanilla colors in here. And they coordinate with the colors that are in the suite. And I am way too far away. Let's zoom in a bit here. There, now you can see them a little better. Can you see the swirls on top? And here's that one. So fun. Okay, and then we have, oops. I can get this back in. We have some more sparkly stuff that I want to show you, and then I'll move on to stamps and dies, okay? So we have um, some beautiful glimmer paper in these three colors. We have uh, Berry Burst. Ooh, that's really close. <laughs> we have Berry Burst, Old Olive, and um, White Glimmer paper. So it's like glittery paper, only nice and smooth fun for accenting your cards. So that's something that will be made available. Uh, let's go on to stamps. We have this stamp set and this one is called Drizzling Droplets. I'm really excited about trying this one out with some of my other product that I've been wanting to share. So I tried to get wise about what I was buying from the online exclusives because it, you can't own it all, even as a demonstrator. I want to, but I didn't. I was very smart. But I could see using the brayer on this. I'm excited to try out the brayer and I haven't shown that in any of my lives yet. So you'll probably see this soon with the brayer tool. Um, and you could even use it as like bubbles coming up from a carbonated beverage, right? So pretty. Okay, and then I have this stamp set, which is another kind of background stamp set, only the backgrounds are smaller. Sometimes they're easier to work with when they're smaller. A stamp set like this, you know, you, you gotta use a big block. So it's a little bit of an investment if you're gonna be a big background stamp person, right? You need your clear block. But you can interchange it. You only need one block. But with something like this, you can have a background that covers the back of your design um, by stamping this multiple times. In one of the samples that they share, they have this um, image here, um, and you can't see this image yet, it's only on the demonstrator side, but they have this image stamped multiple times on the background of the card, and then they use the layering leaves stamp set on top. Anyways, so that's what drew me in, but also just because I love wood grain. So mul multiplying the number of times that you stamp it across your paper gives you a full background look without having to get bigger stamps or bigger blocks. 
So again, another tip for those of you that, like me, can't buy it all, <laughs> but you want to. Um, and then we have um, this stamp set. And this one goes with some dies in a cute little package. This is only a set of two dies. It reminds me of the Paper Pumpkin die add-ons that we have right now. Um, just smaller little configuration. Super cute, look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, gorgeous. Aren't they sweet? That's the word I wanna pick. So this is what they look like. Um, we have little strips and then I stamped on the little strips. So they're fairly skinny and you can see here that there's only a few of the words that will fit on them. These words here that are more scripted are a little bit taller and unless you want them touching the tops and the bottom edges of the dies, then you probably don't want to stamp them within, but they are, you know, like they would fit in the width of them, I guess is what I'm saying, but these will fit much more perfectly. And then you have these images and you'll notice there's an outline and a solid because they fit within each other. So this can be stamped inside of this one to get that two-tone effect, okay? All right, okay, next, 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 next. And last, I guess. The last thing that I have to share is one of my favorites. This one caught my eye. It does not come with any dies. It's not a bundle. It's just simply a stamp set that is top notch. I love these kinds of um, stamp sets where the words are like words that you'd want to use often, right? But they're also artsy. They have a little artsy flair to them. So it's called Sweetly Scripted. So you have this little flair coming off the ends. And we use happy anniversary, congratulations, happy birthday, a million thanks. Those are things that you often say. So it's it's fun because it's something, anyways, I'm in love with this one. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for a fun sentiment stamp set. I think that's it. Um, I talked a lot. We went an hour and almost 15 minutes, hour and 12 minutes. Um, plus I'm gonna finish up, so it's gonna go an hour and 15. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to like, subscribe, um, keep coming back, uh, share the video, please, thumbs up, all of those kinds of things. I appreciate your support. Tell your friends, have them join in. I go live every Wednesday, most every Wednesday. Sometimes there's a, a Wednesday, I can't make it. But every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Time, um, you can catch my lives and their online paper crafting classes most of the time. And I also throw in little videos like this. Sometimes they're live, sometimes they're pre-recorded. Um, maybe a kit alternate type of video or something, or like this, a show and tell. So I hope that you come back and visit again. I hope that you watch the replay if you came in late. And a high five to all of you who are new. And um, thank you so much for joining me. I, I hope that you had a good taste of what's going on with Stampin' Up! Now and some good... Um, inspiration from all the cards that I shared that a lot of you are sending me. So thank you. Uh, is there anything else to announce? I don't th think so. So again, end of February is when celebration ends. If you want to take advantage of that glass mat studio kit offer, make sure that you reach out to your demonstrator or to myself. If you don't have one, I'd be happy to help you out. And um, yes, same thing with ordering. Order, get those freebies. It's a great time of year. Take care, everybody, and uh, I don't think I have anything else that I'm, I'm... Oh, I know what it was. I just wanted to announce that next Wednesday I will be live again with you. Next week um, on Wednesday, I'm going to be sharing, you, uh, sharing with you a, a home decor idea. So I hope you tune in. I'll see you all, and now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye, everyone.